Hey everybody, this is a quick video on how to use the Wi-Fi networks in YCDSB. If you look over on the Wi-Fi menu, you should see two networks, um, Easy Access and YCBYOD. I'll show you what's supposed to happen on both of these networks and why you may want to use one over the other. So for Easy Access, when you connect to it, as you can see here, uh, when I get the full Wi-Fi signal, if you wait a second, this screen should pop up. This screen uh, shows that this is for guests um, and there's a uh, acceptable use policy here. And instead of entering a username and password, you just have to click I agree. And when you click I agree, it should say you're now connected to the internet, safe to close this window. So that's what's supposed to happen when you connect to the guest network called Easy Access. The other network is YCBYOD. Most staff and students should use this network and it does require you to authenticate. In other words, enter your username and password. But there are some tricks to using it um, successfully. So this is what may happen. I'm going to connect to it now and you can see that uh, immediately I get full bars. And when I connect to it, I get this familiar user identification portal. Uh, you won't always get this portal. In fact, sometimes uh, you'll get an error screen, and I'll show you what to do in a minute when you do. But if all things go well, you'll get this user identification portal where you can enter your school uh, login and password. Uh, and when you click on login here, uh, I've authenticated, it says success. I'll click on done, and uh, I will have full access uh, to a less restricted internet than the guest network easy access. Uh, when I go to Chrome, you can see uh, that uh, websites like this one, neverssl.com, uh, will be working. This is a website that's uh, quite important. In fact, we're going to use it uh, to get past uh, the error screen if it is that you're getting an error. Okay, here we are on my iPad, and I'm going to connect to YCBYOD. You can see it's churning away here. Uh, and it's connected. However, instead of getting the blue uh, user identification portal, I get an error opening the page. Sometimes you'll get an error, sometimes you won't get anything at all. Both of these errors require you to take the following steps. I'm going to go OK, uh, and you'll see that it's booted me out of that network. So I'm going to try connect it to, uh, connecting to it again. Um, again, I get this login error. Okay, so the key is being able to get connected to it uh, like this, and then opening a web browser. Okay, so in a web browser, I'm going to go to this website, neverssl.com, that I showed you on the desktop, and this is going to force the user identification portal. You see it's not loading, so I'm going to be persistent and try it again. On the second try, you'll see that I've, I've got the user identification portal. Uh, in here, I'm going to type in my credentials, and then I'm going to hit login. Once I've authenticated to the portal, I can check that my uh, website is working by trying to go to Never SSL, and you can see that I actually get the Never SSL website as opposed to um, an error or the blue user identification portal. In the end, if you're trying to connect to YCBYOD, you have to at some point enter your username and password. So, hopefully, that clears up a little bit of the confusion over the two different Wi Fi networks here at the school. I would highly recommend all staff and students use the YCBYOD. Uh, network, even though it requires this extra step, there are fewer restrictions on that network and just leave the easy access network to uh, guest speakers and other people that aren't from our school board. I hope that helped. Good luck.